Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the worst investment in cardboard history. And one thing that we're going to look at besides price is liquidity. When is the last time a card has sold? Now this is very important because in terms of MetaZoo promo, right? Uh, the price is only as high as you can sell it. I mean, I'm dealing with buyers, right? Or sellers right now. And they're getting butt hurt because they want to sell these cards that have very li little liquidity. If the card hasn't moved in the last 30 days, it's hard to figure out a price. You can't just say with the current marketplace, the price is what it last sold 30 days ago. Well, um, my question would be, okay, why hasn't any more sold? Um, clearly, there are, are listings. Clearly, there is people trying to sell them on eBay and TCG Player. Why is no one buying these cards? And a lot of these prices, you would think, and this is kind of what I'm dealing with right now, is they come to me and they say, look at all these prices on TCG Player. Can you give me market price? Can you give me a percentage off the market price? And I tell them, no, I cannot because these cards have not sold. There is no value in these cards. If you sell it to me, I will be waiting months, months, maybe 90 plus days. I mean, there are Rudy promos that have never actually ever sold. I don't know um, how crazy that sounds to you, but that sounds really, really crazy to me. There are actual promos, Rudy promos. There's one promo in particular that has a market value of $0 because no one has ever bought one in the entire history of it being on TCG Player. And again... I go back to the data. Um, the one thing that Rudy cannot fudge is the numbers, right, on his cards. Th these are his own cards. Um, you would expect that, you know, maybe he would buy them back himself or something. Something is going wrong here um, in terms. So I want you to not just focus on the price. I want you to focus on when the last time somebody bought the card was and when was the last time after that and if there was any other time after that that is liquidity liquidity is absolutely necessary um, you can't just buy a collection for a, a lot of cards not just Rudy cards a lot of cards right now vintage Pokemon cards some like shiny legends shining legend cards they, they're dropped 50% from their last sale and then one hasn't sold in a long long time um, I do think that this is a big question when when confronting uh, these sellers or they want to sell their collection and they go on TCG Play and they want to use market price. Well, the last time that card sold was a year ago or the last time that Rudy promo sold was 30 days ago, 60 days, and there was one sale. Can you really base it on just one sale? Is it manipulated? Is it Rudy Chan himself buying it for Christmas? Who knows, but when there is not enough liquidity in the marketplace, that's when you get worried. I don't really worry too much about price and stuff. Um, that's interesting to know. Like, the only one card I keep track of is Underground Sea, just because I own so much of it, and I can kind of figure out the majority of the card market from just that one card. But um, that, and also, it has volume, right? It is the most popular card on Card Kingdom time and time again in terms of how many people click on it, how many people buy it, how many cards are sold it's a volume issue it's great that you have these promo cards worth supposedly hundreds of dollars but if no one has sold one in the last week it's not it's not a valid comp you know it's not a valid comp if no one has sold one in a long time you can see 59 30 35 i mean you can just see it plateauing off a cliff man the free months have been absolutely brutal for these Rudy promos. And who knows, like, you know, what the actual price of them are because there's no volume. What you want to see is you want to see volume. You want to see liquidity. You want to see that people are buying and trading these cards. Even at a lower price, I would much rather have a low, lower price. On a card. Let's say instead of a $100 card, it's a $50 card, but it's trading every single day. It's selling on eBay. Or TCG. TCG. eBay is much worse for Rudy promos, by the way. Um, I'd much rather see that than a $100 card that the last time it sold was 30 days ago. You know, and has maybe one sale within the last month, right? 
that is not a good sign. So I think Rudy will get flayed for this because he did, you know, the whole idea of the Nightfall. I think Cryptid Nation, somebody told me in the comments, there's $900 a box, first edition. I mean, that that's insanity. I didn't get that email yet. Um, but wow, I know Nightfall, first edition. I, I have that email. I have Monarch, first edition. I have that email. And those things were brutal. The, the 6.9 was brutal, but these promo cards are worthless in my opinion. Uh, and you know they're worthless because he kept stuffing them in the 6.9 mystery grab bag or whatever it's called. There's no liquidity of it. There's no volume. You need more than two people who want the card in any given month, right? Like, say what you will about even dead card games. Like, in Yasa, you, you can go online, you can go to eBay and check. There is some life in even dead card games. There's no life in these promos, right? And I don't know who's buying them. I don't know who would want them. I don't know if the future of MetaZoo is all that bright. Uh, my feeling is this. If people don't want them today, with the way MetaZoo is going, why would they want them tomorrow, right? So I'm very, very confused and shocked that um, people are still saying these promos are worth any money when time and time again, time has shown that they're really... You got, you got to have a buyer, man. You got to have a buyer. Um, and I hate when people, you know, I'm doing a large deal right now, and they just want to use market. But, but then I'm like, hey, these cards like are really nice cards, and I love them. They're nice vintage Pokemon cards, but none of them have sold in the last 30 days. And the previous 30 days, they sold for 50% off. I'm talking about these shiny, shiny, shiny cards and shiny legends. Beautiful set, but... I can't pay market price on them. I can't pay based on market price because you know, you and I both know that's not the real price. 